Hello guys, welcome to my channel Civilology, the study of civil engineering. Today I have brought to you an important video which includes 110 common technical terms that every civil engineer must know. This is actually basic knowledge for interviews and which is equally important for site workers working on the site. So you guys are requested to watch complete video so that you do not miss a single point. This is actually part one of this series and stay tuned for more parts. Let's start our today's topic. The first common term which is used in civil engineering is segregation which is related to concrete. It can be defined as separating out of the ingredients and you guys know that what are the ingredients of concrete namely coarse aggregate, fine aggregate, water and cement. These are the ingredients of concrete and the segregation is the phenomena in which these ingredients separate out of the concrete mix so that mix is no longer in a homogeneous condition. So this will be the result if concrete undergo segregation okay and segregation can be of two or three types. First one is separation of coarse aggregate from the concrete mixture okay separation of coarse aggregate as I mentioned that ingredients are coarse aggregate, fine aggregate, water and cement. Okay. The second type of segregation is separation of cement paste from the concrete during plastic stage. And the third type of segregation could be separation of water from the concrete mix which is called as bleeding in concrete. Okay. The second most common term which is used in civil engineering is bleeding. Okay, it is actually the type of segregation. It is the tendency of the water to rise to the surface of freshly laid concrete. As you can see in this picture, the water has raised to the surface of the concrete due to improper mixing of the concrete or uh, you have used the wrong water cement ratio. Okay and segregation in which some of the water in the mix tend to rise to the surface of freshly placed concrete. So this is the type of segregation actually. This is caused by the inability of the solid constituent of the mix to hold all the mixing water when they settle down during compaction. The third common point for civil engineers is honeycombing. What is honeycombing? Honeycombing is a rough and stony surface that appears on concrete when there are air voids between the coarse and fine aggregates. And, and this happens when insufficient fine material gets into the concrete mixture due to poor mixing or incorrect aggregate grading. So this will be the result of honeycombing in concrete if finer particles are lesser in ratio. Okay. Adhesives. What are adhesives? Adhesives is defined as a substance that sticks to materials or allows objects to stick together such as resin, epoxy and glue. Adhesives are often applied with a caulking gun. As you can see in this picture, these are sticky materials. Okay. Aggregate. Now this is very common term and easy and everyone should know and everyone must know what is aggregate but how to define it. It can be defined as a particulate material made of sand or crushed stone, gravel or recycled concrete etc. It is fundamental part of the building foundations. As you can see over here in this picture different sizes of the aggregates are used in concrete to make it well graded. Okay. The sixth point is plinth level. Now the workers which work on building site must know these points. These points are actually related to buildings. Okay. What is plinth level? The base or foundation of a building providing a stable surface for construction. And it is the level from where superstructure starts. As you can see over here in this picture, this is superstructure. And as you can see over here, this is substructure. So what is superstructure? Superstructure is actually this portion of the building which is above ground level. As you can see over here GL and GL stands for ground level. So the portion of the building which is above ground level is called as superstructure and the portion of the building which is below ground level is called as substructure. 
so what is plinth level it is the level from where superstructure starts as you can see over here this is plinth level okay the base or foundation of a building providing stable surface for the construction so this is actually the uh, near to the floor level or just above the dpc or dam proof course sill level sill level is defined as the horizontal beam at the bottom of the window as you can see over here this is the sill level which starts from bottom of the window this level is called as sill level and this level is taken from floor level to the base of the window so from floor level to the base of the window is called as sill level okay and the third important point is lintel level what is lintel level the top level of window and door as you can see over here this is lintel level and this is actually the top of the window and doors okay the level from floor level to the windows doors uh, and windows and doors top okay so this is actually this level which is taken from the floor level and to the top of the window or door level ninth point is all in red what is all in red the total expenses for a project including direct and indirect cost it covers all the expenses which are required for completion of any project is called as all in red point number 10 which is very common and important to know for civil engineers is alternate bid what is alternate bid an amount that may increase or decrease the base bid okay which may increase or decrease the base bid if the project scope changes and it meets approval okay the 11 point is appraisal the opinion a cost a consultant provides concerning a property valuation point number 12 architect what who is architect a qualified individual or organization responsible for designing and planning structures for construction they complete drawings for building processes point number 13 which is very common and civil engineer must know about it what is ASTM ASTM is American Society of Testing Materials is an international standard organization that creates technical construction standards for products systems uh, services and materials back charge back charge is defined as money held back or charged to a contractor it should be charged to a contractor after the project completes or ends to cover the cost of the expenses damage or incomplete work point number 15 buckling what is buckling buckling is the sudden change in shape which is called as deformation of a structural component under compressive load it occurs when a cylinder structural element such as column or beam fails under compressive load as you can see over here in this picture the column bends in one direction and this bending or deformation is called as buckling and same is in the case in beam when compressive load is applied on the beam it bends and it is also called as bending or buckling point number 16 chairs chair is a support bar placed and tied in between upper and lower reinforcement cage to maintain the gap and stability of the reinforcement and it has the shape like this okay as you can see over here in this picture and it is provided between the double mesh to maintain the distance between top mesh and bottom mesh point number 17 column how can we define column and it is defined as vertical load bearing member supporting axial compressive load it is a long post made of steel stone etc and that is used to support in a building benchmark now this is very important for civil engineers and surveyors that what is benchmark benchmark in surveying is a non fixed point of reference that is used to establish and maintain height or elevation measurements for various surveying and mapping purposes so this is the point uh, which with non elevation and it works as datum so guys that's all for today in next video we are going to discuss part number two of this video and it is equally important for fresher engineers 
site workers and for the students which are preparing for interviews. That's all for today.